Today we are going to learn how to create a Fiverr account uh, not just any Fiverr account today we are going to learn how to create a foreign Fiverr account I'm going to tell you the reasons why you need to create a foreign Fiverr account I'm also going to give you some requirements that you need to create a foreign Fiverr account My name is El Jones and here on this channel we teach lots of things freelancing, making money online, affiliate marketing and a little bit of tech tutorials and so if you haven't subscribed to the channel you do your best and then subscribe Let's dive into it These are some of the reasons why you need to create a foreign Fiverr account. I've been on Fiverr for a while and trust me, getting sales on Fiverr is very difficult. And one of the major reasons why you are not making sales on Fiverr is because you are in Africa. You are in West Africa. The reason why I'm saying this is that I've been on Fiverr for a while and I've studied how things work. I've realized that most of the Fiverr freelancers from West Africa or maybe Africa, they don't actually make sales. And this is because, forgive me, I'm not being racist here, but the main reason is that we are from Africa. We are from West Africa. Trust me on this one. There is this mindset that people in West Africa are scammers. And there are a lot of scammers on Fiverr. And so once they come on Fiverr and they check your location and they realize that you are from Ghana, Nigeria, West Africa, or any country in Africa, they kind of find it difficult to trust you. Their trustworthiness is not there. And so they don't want to order from you. There are other people in the United States offering the same services as you are offering. And that is why they don't want to order from you because you are from Africa. Fiverr is very competitive even if you are in the United States or United Kingdom. How much more you being in Africa and people thinking that people in Africa are scammers. So you are not going to make any sales. And I've seen some few ones break the boundaries being in Ghana or Nigeria and still making the sales. But for me, I did my research and I'm saying that I want to go ahead and create a foreign Fiverr account and see if it's going to work for me. So I'm going to take you through the steps on how to create a foreign Fiverr account from a different country. It is very simple to create. The first thing you need is an eSIM, a virtual phone number and have a full tutorial on how to use numeral eSIM. I'll leave a link in the description. You can watch that video and then purchase your SIM from there. The next thing that you're going to need is a VPN and trust me, I have a free VPN that I'd like to introduce to you as long as you watch the video to the end. And I think this tutorial is going to help you break that boundary of not making enough sales or clients not trusting you as a freelancer because you are coming from Ghana or Nigeria or West Africa. I know so many guys out there who are very talented in graphic design and video editing, but once they sign up on Fiverr, they kind of give up so easily because they don't get any orders and they burn out really quickly. So just follow along and then watch the tutorial to the end and watch me create a foreign Fiverr account. Okay, so here we are on Fiverr and this is the Fiverr homepage. You all know how Fiverr looks like. To sign up, you need a VPN to do this because we are creating a foreign account and the VPN that I recommend to you is Airband VPN Proxy. This VPN is actually free and then you can get it in your Chrome extension web store and then when you are using Microsoft Edge too, you can get it on Microsoft Edge add-ons. The next requirement that you need is a virtual phone number and this virtual phone number is called Numero eSIM. I'll leave a link in the description. I also have a video about it. So once you get these two things, now you then start with creating your account. To do this, you first have to head on to Fiverr's homepage. I'll leave a link in the description. Every link you need will be in the description. Now we need to turn on our VPN and this VPN has so many countries on it. And I like to use United Kingdom because I love United Kingdom so much. All right, if you like to use USA, you can use USA as well. So I'm going to connect to United Kingdom and you can see that my VPN is connected. The next thing to do is to check if the VPN is actually working. And so we go to a website called whoa.com and this online too is to check if the VPN is working correctly. And you can see that right now I'm in the United Kingdom. So my IP address has changed. The next thing to do is to add your email to Fiverr and then you select a username and a password and you click on join. This is the first interface that you see when you click on join. The VPN is working and everything is working. All right, so this is the first page you see. And what we need to do here is that we need to set our profile picture. And then setting your profile picture, you have to also set your account name. So I set it to Mr. E. Make sure that the image you use as your profile picture has no copyright on them because you see, I used the first image and Fiverr deleted it. So make sure you create a logo for your business or your your picture of yourself you can create a logo using canva and you can see i selected numerous um, images before fiverr accepted this image all right so you can see that it says here that from united kingdom and that's it we have created our account now what is left is that we need to verify our account 
phone number and that is where the numero eSIM comes in you see i've verified my email make sure you check in your inbox and verify your email you can see the green thing up there all right now here we go to settings and head on to account and right from here we need to set up our full name now type in your full name so i'm going to type in i'm creating the account for someone so i'm going to type in my account's full name it says settings saved and then you check through to verify some security issues you can set a two-factor authentication you can also fix in a security question and then verify your number as well so this is the eSIM that you'll be using you have to purchase it i'll leave a link in the description also leave a link to a tutorial for this eSIM in the description now back to our main account now what we need to do is that we need to become a seller and becoming a seller we fiverr requires us to verify some things they need from us so once you click on become a seller it takes you to ready to start selling on fiverr you click on continue what makes a successful fiverr profile continue and but you need to read through to understand some things if you are new on fiverr so you click on continue and here you are here you need to type in your actual name right your actual name so you are typing a name and your display name that people will see on your fiverr profile you type in a description and if you are finding it difficult to type in a description you can use ai to help you type in a description now i have here the bank chat bot and it's on microsoft edge this bot is free and so i'm going to ask the bot to write me a clear description of a freelancer offering graphic design services on fiverr and that's basically why you need to ask the bot and it's going to generate a description for you you then copy it from there and put it in your description make some few adjustments to it you can install a grammarly plugin or extension and then use it to make some few changes to it you can see that i'm generating a description right here and copy i'm gonna come back to my description um you can change it to suit the way you want it all right so you see i'm pasting it here and i'll make some few changes the next thing to do is to select a language and english is the universal language and then you can select your level of english fluently um, intermediate conversational or whatever you want to check through if you have made any mistakes all right then you click on next the next thing to do is to provide your professional info your occupation what do you do and probably you might be a graphic designer video editor and so i selected graphic designing and you selected the skills that you have acquired in graphic design we have so many sectors in graphic designing and so select it respectively i can select it for you here you then come here and type in your skill again and then you want to type in your experience level you can add up to seven skills here by clicking add and then clicking on add new which is a new option when you click on add the next thing to do is to add your education level and if you are still in school don't worry just type in your school name and then type in the year that you started the school and then the year that you'd complete now you need to specify the program that you are studying in that school so if it's computer engineering computer science graphic designing uh, video editing then you prefix it there all right so do this respectively it's very simple to bypass this part if you are not done with school don't worry since we are creating the account in the united kingdom we want to select a school in the united kingdom and mind you this is not a school that i attended but just fix it there because we are creating it from the united kingdom all right so i selected and i went through and i selected a few schools and options that i would like to fix in there and everything was so perfect right Yes, so f just do it, fix, play around with it, and you're going to find which school to use. It is not necessary that you use what I'm using. You select your program, and if it's degree or something like that, bachelor's degree or whatever degree you want to attain, just put it there. And yeah, it's self-explanatory. If you have any certifications too, you can put it there. And I don't have one. So I, when I'm done, I'll click on next or save to move to the next stage. And with the next stage, I don't want to purchase a new number i have already created my own account this is for someone all right so i'm going to use my own account to continue from where i left off all right so once you are done you check through if there's a problem and here is telling me to type in my um experience period so when did i start their graphic designing so don't forget to fix in that as well so i click on 2000 and something and then also click on another 2003 all right we are set so click on next and here we need to link our account so you can link your google account that you used to create the fiverr account you can also link your facebook twitter 
um, Dribble, Dribby or whatever, well, v Vimeo. I don't use those two accounts. Or I use um, Twitter, Facebook, and then Gmail, right? Here, we need to verify our phone number. And so this is where virtual phone numbers come inside. I'll leave a link in the description to watch the video and understand how the virtual SIM card works, all right? So let me just log into a new account which is my personal account that I created in the United Kingdom. And I'm going to show you from there how you're going to go about it. All right. So I'm logging into a new account. And you see, once I click on login, it says one small step. Now they are detecting that I haven't turned on a VPN. So please be very mindful. If you want to log in, turn on a VPN. And so I checked through my VPN up um, to, and then you can see it's off. So I turn it on again, right? Make sure you turn it on before you log into Fiverr. And then let me try once more. Click on login and voila, here we are. Okay, so this is my account, my main account. The other one was for someone. And so you can see my name, the everything here. Very, very professional. All right. You can see here that it says change phone number. And I'm going to type in my security questions and access. And then you can see that I've actually linked a UK number to it. So this is my old number plus four, four. So you can get, I got the SIM from the numero eSIM. I'll leave a link in the description. You can then add your business details, which is very self-explanatory. I'm not going to go through that with you. It's just a business or a brand that you want to form on Fiverr. And so you can be your own profile and then create a business profile under it. So this is your business. You write a little bit about it. Once you're done, you click on save check the payment method and to check the payment method you need to create a gig or become a seller first and we are not done with becoming a seller all right so this is my account and you can see i've filled in the necessary details like we did in the previous one the final thing that you do that will boost your percentage to allow fiverr to authorize you to become a seller is that when you verify your phone number and so i urge you to verify your phone number you can see that it says verified here with my phone number okay and so that'll be all for today. If you have any questions troubling your mind, your gigantic mind, I'm always there to answer you. Follow me on Instagram at Elsa So and leave your questions in the comment section. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.